important group for us to identify and to grab, however, is a relatively new group in the population's thinking, and that's the group of women who are pregnant. We never really thought much about pregnant women being at risk for viral infections. We've always known it, and we've always known that if you're pregnant and you get varicella, varicella pneumonia can occur and it can be deadly. Mortality rate is very high. But since varicella hasn't been very common in the population due to immunization, we forgot about that piece. We've been reminded again because there's been a significant mortality rate in women who are pregnant who catch H1N1. And the reason really goes back to the protective mechanism that the body takes to allow a fetus to be carried to term. We know that there's a change in T cell responsiveness in women once they become pregnant. Remember, a fetus is a foreign body. It has an immunologically, antigenically different protein structure. It should be, in theory, rejected, attacked, by our immune system, by a woman's immune system as a foreign body. It is not, because T cell responses change and are blunted to allow the pregnancy to carry beyond that first trimester until you then have a more well-developed process. Well, remember, T cells are your first line of defense in viral infection. And it seems that in this infection, T cells may be even more important in order to allow for the beginning of the process of attacking and preventing viral spread. And so the blunting of that T cell response may in fact allow viral spread to be much more vigorous much earlier before that humoral response is mounted.